the next thing we want to look at as far as the action on the cue ball in conjunction with the tangent line is the sliding action. Same kind of an action we would put on the cue ball if we were going to make a stop shot out of it if it were a straight in shot. But in this case it's not. Once again, it's our cut angle to the left which means we're not going to be able to stop the cue ball dead still. So where's it going to go? Well, it's going to start out once again following the tangent line and this time our tangent line says it's running over to this portion of the cushion right here. But how far will it follow that? That once again depends upon whether it's got a top spin sliding action or back spin. Well the sliding action is the one action that's going to get us a more true direction right along that tangent line. So let's put this over here just as a target and see how close we can come to that if we get the cue ball to slide right into that. Let's see how closely it actually follows the tangent line. Not bad. 